Secretary for you. Give it up for Catherine Brogan. Hello. How are we all doing? It's lovely to see you all here. Are we all feeling a bit smelly? Yeah. Yeah, I feel a bit smelly right now. So well done everybody for getting smelly all this time. Working really hard all year to make the world a better place. So this is your party. This is your opportunity to have a good time and have some amazing artists come give you their stuff. So uh, thank you guys. You are the superstars here today. And I'm going to kick off with one about uh, where we've been all this time in the steps of St. Paul's. Well, we should have been in the stock exchange, really. They distracted us with the Jesus talk. That was the problem. <laughs> Jesus was born in an empty building. Imagine they wouldn't let Mary in. Imagine Herod had got him a child exile in Egypt. If he'd claimed, would we accept it? Imagine they told Jesus, get a job. Stop being a vagabond, running round with your stories, sleeping in other people's houses, causing his mother distress, homeless in the wilderness, eating what you find. The testament is underground, hanging out with prostitutes, unable to afford boots. Jesus assembled a gang. Disciples is the slang. They would eat together, make people feel better, help them find more fish, multiply any dish. He wasn't always popular. He'd help a stranger. I think Jesus was a protester. He didn't, he didn't care for money, wealth, cared about how people felt. He turned the tables in the temple. He liked to keep it simple, the people told Jesus the pauper, back to Nazareth, be a carpenter like your father. Forget your visions, forget your dreams, seen as a threat to those in power, Jesus had a very public murder. And look at him now, eh? Hasn't he done well? <laughs> More followers than anyone else, umpteen employees, a venue in every village, and an awful lot of land. You can't attack the Son of Man. Jesus preached to love thy neighbor. He must have been a protester. Thank you very much. And um, there's been so many amazing things that have gone on in the past six weeks, is it now? And it's been amazing like to see so many people pulling together and learning how to self-organize and learning how, to, how we can do things, how we don't have to wait for somebody else to do them for us. And it's been an amazing space to do that. And um, I wrote this about the initial statement. I buy, therefore I am, is the corporate Sam. Our democracy, consumerism, we're caught in a prism of shiny colours sparkle. So we can all marvel at Kate Middleton's shoes. <coughs> Pretending we choose, but it leaves you empty, this pursuit of plenty. Life is more than more crap. Can we all get behind that? Go home, watch telly, have a beer, get lonely, buy something on eBay, that's how we have our say. Let's change the setup from the bottom up. Stop messing on your phone, don't be a corporate clone. There's an opportunity to stop the super rich, so don't dig your own ditch. Come pitch your tent, state your intent to change the current system that stops the world from eating. And um, we've got like four amazing artists on today, so I'm going to whip through. But um, I'm going to leave you one last poem because I think it's really important when we're in this movement to to stay hopeful and stay joyful and remember why we're doing it and like not let all the bastards get you down. So um, and about imagining different amazing worlds and how amazing human beings are and how great we are as a species and how if we only have a little chance we can really achieve something and we can we can make it all beautiful so yes and we can do it together 
Do you think that you and I can search the sky and find the stars? Sew them to the flowers with silver thread when we've woken them from their bed. So we can see the present, the future, the past. Doesn't matter which comes second, first or last. Because life isn't a line. It's a circle in time that we perceive through colours. Our mothers, the bubbles that we're living in. I don't have a concept of sin. That and past is perception. By exposure to the histories that enclose you, we can find a higher collective consciousness. Away from all this filthiness, there is a better way to organize, prioritize, and file this system. <laughs> there is a better use of our collective wisdom. <laughs> <laughs>